I was about to film a review when I realized that there is something that needs to be done. So ever since I bought this portable spotlight off Amazon for 15 bucks, this is to add some extra light um, to my face when I'm filming, there's been one thing that has been nagging at the back of my head ever since I picked this up. And that's the fact that this uses six AA batteries and they drain like that. I have to replace them every single time I film. It's really inefficient and it's a waste of batteries. Um, and it's also very expensive to keep buying batteries for this thing. Now, if I pop these out, oh, you know what? I thought I would just be able to shake them out, but I was uh, completely wrong there. Let me just pull some of these out. You will see that this is uh, built to take one of those generic um, Sony batteries, but those are about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I don't feel like paying that much. I also want something that I can recharge via micro USB, so I'm going to be wiring one of these 5 volt um, battery banks into uh, this light, and I'm going to do that with this step up converter and a USB cable along with one of these uh, cheap. Um, promotional battery banks. Actually, I got this for free, or someone gave this to me for free. Um, they got it at a conference. So really, this whole modification is costing two bucks, and that was just for the uh, step-up converter. So I didn't realize how much power this light actually pulls. It pulls over 10 watts of power, which is above the limit um, of a lot of the battery banks that I have. That's over two amps. So if I crank this up all the way, you will see that the battery bank that I currently have it hooked up to uh, shuts down as a safety precaution and it tries to turn back on and it realizes that we're pulling too much power So if I bump it back down again, you will see that sure it lights up just fine But once I go past the certain limit it starts bugging out So it's the same story with this uh, cheapo orange one. It's a slightly different effect though. So if I plug this one in and I turn it on once we get past a certain limit, so that's all fine and dandy but there we go. These battery banks aren't going to cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the back and see what we have in storage. Okay, so my proof of concept is a success. I have the light hooked up to the step up converter hooked up to the power bank. Now, as you can see, I did make some slight changes. So um, this was the only power bank I had that was powerful enough to actually power the light. Uh, this was way too weak and then my other battery bank just kept cutting out. I had to pull this out of the back. Uh, this is actually a review sample, so I'm gonna have to review this eventually. Um, but for now, it's going to be in use as the uh, spotlight power source. Also, as you can see, I had to make a Y connector because I don't have one on hand. I had to improvise and cut up a couple USB cables, um, and that's wired up in parallel, so we can utilize the power from both of these USB ports, and that is going into the step-up converter because with just one USB port, we're not getting enough power and the light just sits there uh, and it won't go up to full brightness. It'll just sit there and flicker. So I had a little epiphany while I was putting all together. I thought, hey, you know what? Since we're using a USB battery bank with multiple USB ports, I could probably just wire up two USB cables in series and get close to 10 volts. That way we could get rid of the step-up converter altogether. This would be more efficient and I would have one less piece to deal with. So I tried to wire up two USB cables in series, and they're around here somewhere. I cut up a couple more, and unfortunately that did not work. There was no power output to the light, the USB battery bank was not uh, detecting it, and I just gave up on that. So now that I know this is actually going to work, I can go in the back and grab some copper clad aluminum wire and permanently install this into the light. So once I soldered the wires to the battery terminals within the spotlight, I then took some hot glue just to secure everything down and I put the back panel back on. Then I grabbed the USB battery bank. I grabbed some Velcro straps that I had laying around. I use these for cable management all the time. These things are just wonderful. If you want to check them out, I will put the link down in the description. Alternatively, if you want a cheaper solution, you could also use something like zip ties or you could just tape it um, to your tripod. So I took those Velcro straps, I wrapped it around the centerpiece of the tripod um, and I secured the battery bank to the centerpiece using those two Velcro straps. 
From there, all I had to do was plug in the two USB cables and I was good to go. As you can see, um, very easy solution. You know, it looks very simple, um, but it gets the job done. These Velcro straps do a great job of holding the battery bank in place. Um, and I don't have to worry about, you know, too much movement because as far as moving the light goes, it's going to stay on the tripod and I left enough slack in the cable um, so that I can turn the tripod here and there uh, and actually point the light in the direction that I need it to be pointed towards. And that's going to be about it for this video. My spotlight is now powered via a USB power bank and a very, very large USB power bank at that. Once again, this thing is uh, a 20 amp hour power bank um, this is from easy excess I believe uh, and if you want to check it out I will put the link down in the description keep in mind though it turned out that I couldn't use any power bank that I just had laying around these two just didn't provide enough juice um, that light is pulling about 12 to 13 watts at full power so just keep in mind you have to have a pretty beefy power bank um, to actually power a light like that but you know if you have a cheap old a uh, capable power bank just laying around and this is a great project. I now have a portable um, USB power source for my spotlight. It just attaches to the tripod. Um, I can actually unhook it and swap it out really fast if that one dies. Um, also, I can charge it via USB now. Uh, the battery capacity is much greater than any of those other uh, Sony batteries that you can stick inside a spotlight like this. Um, so this was a lot of fun. Uh, project that's definitely worth it if you're trying to uh, come up with a portable solution, portable spotlight solution um, with very, very good battery life. That's going to be about it for this video. If you want to check out anything that I use today, like the Velcro straps, the battery bank itself, um, the step-up converter, all of that, um, all the links to those will be down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to support me. You can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. And of course, don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.